A warm welcome to our second AME training video. With this we want to show the right procedure for PFO cover slide exchange. At first we want to show the typical damages that make an exchange necessary. These are mechanical defects like chipped off glass, cracks or scratches, thermal defects like molten areas and burnt in spatters, and defects to the anti-reflex coating, which can look like colored, shiny residual or similar to watermarks, which can't be removed with cleaning. We never remove the cover slide just for cleaning. The highly expensive front lens always needs to be protected, unless a cover slide exchange is absolutely unavoidable. The cover slide holder is part of an aluminium cylinder called the smoke bell. Once we have detected that an exchange is necessary, we get our suitcase with the replacement smoke bell. This is just a simple aluminium suitcase which we prepared by ourselves with two compartments. To avoid any confusion while doing the job, we labeled the compartments with green clean and a red dirty sticker. We strongly recommend that at least one such suitcase, including one spare smoke bell, should be available in every plant with PFO laser heads. Then we bring the robot with the PFO into maintenance position. Because valuable front lens will be unprotected for a short while, we first prepare the laser station by switching off any air movements, which could transport dust to the PFO. Now we clean the housing of the PFO the same way as already shown in our cover slide cleaning video. A clean environment is absolutely essential if the section between cover slide and front lens needs to be opened. We finish with cleaning the smoke bell carefully with a fresh towel sprinkled with glass cleaner fluid. The next step is to switch the air supply off and disconnect it. The following step should be done quickly in one flow. We take off the smoke bell by pulling it off. It is fixed with ball pressure screws and therefore it comes off suddenly once the pressure point is exceeded. We place it in the dirty labeled compartment of our suitcase. Now we carefully clean the mechanical interface of PFO and smoke bell with cleaning swabs sprinkled with isopropanol and take care that we don't touch the front lens. A control of our cleaning swabs is a good indicator whether our cleaning was successful. As can be seen here, reasonable amounts of dirt get also in this area. Then we remove only the upper cover from the smoke bell in the clean labeled compartment and push the smoke bell on the interface until there is no gap visible anymore. We reconnect the air supply line and check whether the tube somehow interferes with the working field or cross jet of the PFO. If necessary, we turn the smoke bill to tighten the tube until it is out of the danger zone. Finally, we can remove the lower cover and place it in the suitcase. We give the cover slide a final check with our LED torch light and turn the air supply of the smoke bell to on. If the laser cell is properly set up, it will turn on all blowing and exhaust by itself or we do it manually in advance. Now the laser cell can be restarted for production and we are changing place for the following steps. 
We choose an office room with not too much people passing through and clean a desk with towels and glass cleaner fluid. Again we reduce any air movement as good as possible, for example by closing doors and windows. We place a smoke bell and the upper and lower cover on the desk and put the suitcase aside. The lower cover has a second function that helps to remove the metallic ring that keeps the cover slide in place. Therefore we lay it upside down on the desk. Now we take the smoke bell with the cover slide on the upside and put it over the cover. By pressing the border of the smoke bell down, the ring is released. Now we can take off the ring and the cover slide. In case the first analysis of the cover slide wasn't correct and a reuse seems possible, it is very important to remember up and down side. Before starting the next steps, we carefully check the cleanness of the smoke bell and clean it accordingly. Now we take a new cover slide out of its envelope only by touching the protection paper in which the slide is wrapped. We put it in place and shake the smoke bell sideways until the cover slide slips into the correct position. We take the ring and press it in its correct position until we hear a metallic click. Finally, we put the covers on the smoke bell and place it in the clean compartment of our suitcase. Now we are ready for the next cover slide exchange, which, under good conditions, shouldn't happen much more than four times a year per PFO. If you face an exchange rate that is reasonable higher, please contact us for a deeper analysis of your setup and welding parameters. Congratulations! Mission accomplished!